Welcome to Bite Size Spotlight. Today we're going to do a quick review of some fidget spinners, fidget cubes, and a pretty cool vintage product from the 80s. Now I got a variety of fidget spinners here. Uh, this is your lower end one. Um, this one actually has LEDs, which I'll show you in a second. This is a mid-tier one, and this is a higher tier. Now this is the most expensive one. Uh, this one is about $20. This one is a solid metal construction. has a nice, good weight to it, good feel. This one is designed by Best Fly. Uh, they tout a three to five minute spin range on this. Now this is the mid-tier one I got. This is by Street Fidgeteer. Uh, this comes in at $12 and uh, they tout a two minute spin time. Now you got bearings on each uh, side as well as the middle. Uh, if you look at the bearings, basically they're rollerblade bearings. Anyone who's into roller hockey or uh, rollerblading, you'll notice these look pretty familiar. And last, you have a lower end uh, fidget spinner, which has just one bearing in the middle and it is an LED, so it lights up. And this one comes in at about $9. And this one you can tap, which activates the LED lights. So it's kind of a fun look, you got the LEDs. Uh, definitely kids would like it, or if you're doing tricks in the dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin all these and we'll see which one spins the longest. I could already tell the Best Fly Gold one is the smoothest. And you can see our low end model is starting to slow down. Well, the middle. Oh, and it's gonna be close between the low end and the mid tier. Yeah, it looks like they're about the same, these two. But with the mid tier, you get the extra bearings and you can see the uh, longer tier is going much, much longer. Now these ones stopped at about just under two minutes. So they were about right with the two minute and this one is still going pretty strong. Still going strong. Okay, now it's been more than a minute since these ones stopped and this one is still going. So this one's going now three minutes and 20 seconds. We'll see, it looks like it's slowing down now. Remember they did tout that it could go three to five minutes depending on spin, which I gave it a decent spin, but I'm sure you could probably get it to go a little bit longer. And there it goes. So we're uh, just at about the four minute mark, believe it or not. And it stopped and we're at uh, four minutes and 12 seconds. So this one went for 12 and these ones were just under the two minute mark. They came in almost identically. Now, if I had to recommend one, I would say, I'd say it'd be a toss, but I mean, this one is really cool because it has a nice solid metal construction. So I, I like it. And the fact that it uh, comes in at about $20 is, you know, somewhat reasonable. So I'd recommend this one. Uh, this is by Best Fly. I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description and the street fidgeteer. I'd also recommend this one. I mean, this is only $12. Um, you have four bearings on this one, so you can do a lot more with it. It is plastic, uh, the main body, the bearings are metal, but it's got a nice feel to it. And last but not least, the LED version. This one was under $10. It definitely has a cheaper feel. Um, you know, you might find this at your local store. I know some of these spinners are going for upwards of $100. I think that's definitely insane. This one's pretty high quality and it's coming in at only about $20. I think to pay more than $20 for a fidget spinner is uh, a little crazy, but you know, teach their own. Everyone likes to collect stuff. Now another thing that's popular are these fidget cubes. These come in all different styles. This one is all white. This is a camo look. A lot of people are into these. You have eight sides. Each one has a different thing. So this side is the kind of the people who are into clicking pens. You have uh, some clicks. Now some of these actually have uh, silent buttons. These two I notice uh, all of them click. And then this side you got your roller. Some wonderful satisfying sounds. This is the side they say uh, gamers shouldn't have all the fun. Even if you're not a gamer you should have some fun. I think it's a bit of a stretch but it's a good sales pitch. And then this side you have a little circular motion you can make on this thing. You got your light switch. And this one uh, is supposed to feel like kind of like a smooth uh, rock or something like that. 
rub your finger in there. So these are pretty cool. If you like to fidget, just have something in your hand. If you're in class or you're just in a meeting, they do make a little noise depending on what you're doing. So people might think you're a little neurotic. So you might want to maybe use the joystick if you're in a class and it's quiet. But if you're just like hanging out and you like to fidget, it's pretty cool. You can use all these different mechanisms. So one more thing I wanted to show you, anyone who was a kid in the 80s might remember these. Uh, while we're spinning things, these were pretty cool. These are sponges. So this is the ring that they spin in. When you open it up, you have two launchers and two sponges. So we'll go ahead and take those out. Launcher one, launcher two. So if you take a look at these, the top part is a plastic construction and the bottom spinner is metal in design, which you don't see too many metal toys nowadays. So basically what you do is you load them into the launcher and then you wind it up. Now when they're both in the launchers, the idea is that they can battle in the ring Oh, red one's gone. As you can see guys, these are a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, they don't make them anymore. You can still find them on eBay. They are not cheap, but not too pricey. They're not high-end collectibles. So if you're interested in a pretty unique uh, toy that spins, uh, I would recommend sponges. They're pretty cool. I'd look into these. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.